This is a review of the Panasonic HCV800. We've purchased this camera to use it in low light conditions and we did struggle to find on YouTube a video that we could assess just how good this thing was in low light so we thought we'd make our own. So I'm going to put two images up on the screen. The left hand image is from the Panasonic HCV800 and the right image is from a Nikon D7200. Both fitted with a 28mm lens, both are an autofocus. The only difference being the Panasonic is in HDR mode because I found HDR does seem to work better in low light conditions than the low light mode which is a bit unusual but there we go. So I've brought it down the mine. Um, both cameras are side by side. Both are, have got exactly the same lighting. Um, and I've come to this area here where we've got a 10 watt flood lamp lighting up the, the bridge. So here of course it's quite bright, you know, we have no trouble seeing what we're doing here. But I've brought it to this piece here and I'm going to look directly at the light so you can see the quality of the glass. You can see on the Panasonic there is a little bit of lens flare. There's a little bit on the Nikon but a lot less. However I wouldn't let that put you off because it really isn't that bad and I am looking directly at the light. So we move on. The light now is just from my headlamp which I'm wearing on my head. So we can look down the shaft here to the works and you can see Panasonic's pretty good. Both images are quite clear, you can see what we're doing. And I'm going to move away from the lit area and make our way down further into the mine. So this area is very dark, there's a lot of very dark coloured earth, uh, very soft where we've had a fall and also the hard rock of course which is now covered in soil. So I'm going to take the next head in so we're completely out of any light produced from the, the flood lamps and take this uh, head in. Now what we found also is the batteries on the Panasonic do last quite well. The manufacturer says between one and one and a half hours depending on how much you zoom. Now we never zoom, we always have it zoomed all the way out to maximum width. So we found that the batteries last us a good hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes, although it is quite warm down here. In cold conditions I wouldn't expect it to be quite so good. Uh, the aftermarket batteries, or the ones that aren't made by Panasonic, they're not so good. Even though they're advertised as being the same, we found them to last nowhere near as well. So we would expect half hour to 45 minutes out of an aftermarket battery. So I've come to this part of the mine so that you can see more in distance. This is where there's been a recent collapse again. A bit of the... Uh, some of the stamples have fallen down. So if I stand up here and look directly up so you can see up in the ceiling what the problem is here. So both cameras are doing a decent job. I would say the Panasonic is lighter, clearer. So I think so far, considering the price difference between the two, the Panasonic's making a, a good, good impression. And the other thing that you'll have noticed is the stability control. On the Panasonic, it's on maximum at the moment. Um, there is an override function to lock the stability so that it's, if you're doing a very long zoom, it will stay much more static. But if you stand here and move the cameras around, you can see there's a lot of delay in the Panasonic, which is just smoothing out the, the motion, even though it's pitch black, which is very good. I'm very impressed with the stability control. So we're making our way back to the main heading. We've got to turn off my lights and then look back at where the flood lamps are. This might give you an indication if you're using it in your garden, you the street lamps there or something like that. Uh, light other than the light that you're holding. So if I turn around, all lights off. There's a light down the far end as you can see which is quite a long way away. So the only light here now is from the flood lamp which is on the bridge. You can see both cameras are doing a good job. I would say the Panasonic is doing a particularly good job considering that it is just a camcorder and not a full DSLR with a much larger sensor. So we're quite impressed. It does seem to be doing what it says on the tin. Um, the low light capabilities, yeah, it does seem to be right. So happy days. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that it's been um, enlightening to you, I suppose if you want to say that. Um, because I'll put it onto YouTube. Um, 
And then anybody else that wants to know what this thing's like in the dark, uh, you should be able to get now a, you know, a good indication of how good it is. So, uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, or if you could consider subscribing, um, we'd much appreciate it.